hello and welcome back to the master civil engineering in this video you will learn that how to find the deflection for a prismatic beam using the double integration method i have been given a question which says that the beam in figure below is subjected to a load of 20 kN. you can see it's applied at a and c we have to determine the displacement at c okay modulus of elasticity of this beam is given as 200 gigapascal and moment of inertia of the section is 250 into 10 raised power 6 mm raised power 4 okay uh, this is an overhanging beam having a length of 15 meters the, there are uh, support hinge support at uh, a and roller support at b okay first uh, we will uh, find the reactions in the beam so let us assume that ra and rb are the vertical reactions at a and b respectively in the upwards direction and taking movements about this support b assuming that clockwise movements are positive and anti-clockwise movement is negative so movement about b will be equal to ra since its direction is upward so ra in, into 10 plus 20 into 5 is equal to 0 okay from this we will get the value of ra equal to minus 10 kilonewton since uh, we assumed ra in the upwards direction but its sign came out to be negative it means the direction of ra is downward it acts in the downward direction okay so ra is in the downward direction for vertical equilibrium of forces upward forces should be equal to the downward forces uh, since RA is now in the downward direction, so RB, which is in the upward direction, it will be equal to 20 plus RA, or its value will be equal to 30 kN and it will be in the upwards direction. Okay. After finding uh, support reactions, okay, now we will find the equation. Uh, since this beam it deflects in the shape as shown in this uh, figure, okay, and due to the loading we have to take two x coordinates the first x coordinate that is x1 it will be valid in the range of 0 to 10 that is from a to b and x2 it will be valid in the range of uh, this b to c okay that is from 10 to 15 meters okay both will be measured from support a so taking a section uh, first uh, to find the equation of the movement we will cut at uh, section in this ray in this um, uh, in this portion that is in the portion a b and from fpd you can see that since uh, these are the direction of shear and the movement again assuming that clockwise movements are positive and anti-clockwise and negative we will get the value of m1 equal to minus 10 into x uh, 10 into x1 because if you take the movement of 10 kN about this uh, point it will be uh, 10 into x1 plus m1 so is equal to 0 so value of m1 will be equal to minus 10 into x1 and this equation it will be uh, valid in 0 to 10 meter okay x1 this is valid in 0 to 10 meter okay after uh, you can then cut a section at this in the portion bc okay and again find the summation of movement about this point okay taking clockwise movements as positive and anti-clockwise as negative so m2 this will be equal to minus 10 into x2 plus 30 into x2 minus 10 because we have to find this distance 30 lever arm of 30 kN about this point will be 30 into x2 minus 10 okay so m2 will be equal to minus 10 into x2 plus 30 into x2 minus 10 and this x2 this is valid from 10 meter to 15 meter okay uh, you can solve this equation it will be equal 20 x2 minus 300 okay so these are the two equations now uh, we will find the slope and the deflection so uh, equation of the elastic curve if in 0 to 10 meter we have movement equal to minus 10 into x1 and movement this is equal to ei d2y by dx2 for this range it will be ei d2y1 divided by dx1 whole square this will be equal to minus 10 into x1 then you will integrate uh, integrate this equation on both sides so integrate it on both sides it will be equal to ei 
dy1 divided by dx1 this will be equal to minus 10 x1 whole square divided by 2 which is equal to minus 5 x1 square plus there will be the constant of integration which is c1 again this is the equation of the slope again you will integrate it to get the equation of the deflection so it will be ei y1 minus 5 by 3 x1 raised power 3 plus c1 x1 another constant of integration which is c2 okay the first equation is equation first and second is equation second now we will use the boundary conditions so boundary conditions are that the value of this deflection at a and b is zero so at x1 equals zero y1 equals zero that is the deflection is zero and x1 is equal 10 y1 is again zero because at suppose deflection is zero at pin support or fixed or hinge support deflection is equal to zero okay putting the value of x1 is equal to zero in this equation 2 and x1 equal to 10 in this equation 2 we will get the value of c1 and c2 okay so put first x1 equal 0 y is equal 0 this gives me the value of c2 equal 0 again if i put x1 is equal 10 and solve for c1 i will get the value of c1 equal to 166.67 kilonewton meter square this is the value of c1 if i put the value of c1 and c2 in equation first and second these are now the two equations after putting the values of constant okay so this was in the range of 0 to 10 meter now we have another movement equation which is valid in the range of 10 meter to 15 meter okay so for x2 greater or equal 10 or less or equal to 15 meter m2 this is equal to 20 x2 minus 300 again you can write it uh, in terms of this equation of elastic curve so it will be ei d2 y2 divided by dx2 whole square is equal to 20 x2 minus 300 integrate it on both sides so it will be ei dy2 divided by dx2 integration of 20 x2 is 10 x2 square integration of 300 is minus 300 x2 and there will be constant of integration which is c3 this is equation third again integrated to get the equation of deflection so it will be ei y2 is equal to 10 by 3 x2 raised power 3 minus 150 x2 square plus c3 x3 plus c4 which is another constant of integration okay again you will use a boundary conditions since this equation is now valid from 10 to 15 meters so at support b that is x2 equal to uh, 10 y2 is 0 okay x2 is 10 because we are measuring x2 from a not from b we are measuring x2 from a but uh, the value of x2 is valid from 10 to 15 meters so at x2 is equal to 10 y2 is that is deflection is again 0 put this in equation 4 okay you will get the value of uh, you will get the equation in terms of c3 and c4 so it will be 10 by 3 into 10 is power cube minus 115 to 10 square plus c3 into 10 plus c4 the if i solve it i will get the equation okay linear equation in two variables that is 10 into c3 plus c4 this is equal to uh, 11,666.67 this is equation 5 okay uh, there is another continuity equation that is slope at b this should be same so at x1 equal to x2 is equal to 10 meter slope should be same okay okay sub slope at support should be same either on the left side or at the right side it should be same so that's why i have written dy1 divided by dx1 this is equal dy2 divided by dx2 okay so if i put the value of x1 is equal to x2 in both the equations okay in the equations of slope it will be minus 5 into 10 square plus 166.67 is equal 10 into 10 square minus 300 into 10 plus c3 okay you are putting x1 is equal 10 in equation first and x2 is equal 10 in equation third okay from this you will get the value of c3 equal to 1666.67 kilonewton meter square you will put this value of c3 in equation 5 to get the value of c4 so put it in equation 5 to get the value of c4 
the value of C4 is equal to minus 5000 kilonewton per meter cube. Okay. After that, putting the value of C3 and C4 in equation 4, we get the value of this Y2 equal to EI Y2 is equal to 10 by 3 into 15 raised power cube minus 150 into 15 square plus 1666.67 into 15 minus 5000. This gives me the value of EI Y2 equal to minus 2500. Okay. So E that is the modulus of elasticity. This is 200 gigapascal since our uh, units of load is in kilonewton and distance is in meter. So E is equal to 200 into 10 raised power 6 kilonewton per meter square. And I, this is 250 into 10 raised power 6 mm raised power 4. This is equal to 250 into 10 raised power minus 6 meter 4. Okay. So if you put uh, these value in this equation, you will get the value of y2 equal to minus 2500 divided by 200 into 10 raised power 6 into 250 into 10 raised power minus 6 which is equal to minus 0 0.05 meter okay or in terms of mm it's minus 50 mm okay it's negative it means that the deflection is in the downward direction okay that has shown by this curve okay so the deflection at y2 at c is equal to minus 50 mm or minus 0 0.05 meter okay always you have to uh, use the uh, same unit so that's why i have converted the uh, units of e in kilonewton meter square and unit of i in meter okay meter is power 4 because my units of load are in kilonewton and distance is in meter okay so this is how you can apply the method of double integration to calculate the deflection and deflection at any point in the beam i will solve some more questions on this uh, topic and try to upload more videos so that you will better understand the concept if you still have doubts you can write them in the comment box okay and if you like this video Please uh, subscribe to my channel and share this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.